Show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City. Yes, New York City is so great that after three weeks, I finally found a doctor who has the vaccine for leprosy. Yes, I was ready to end my medical practice without it. Take a look. The way of speaking out against a prophet you claim to believe is dangerous. You can make a man leprous. It's dangerous. Yeah, part of my job is to treat pastors like this one. If you love to eat indomie, my dear, you are eating a food dedicated to idol. I could have dismissed Bishop Oedebo, you know, but I didn't want to take chances. I was almost sure that if God wanted to punish those criticizing his servants, God will use vibrant modern diseases like COVID-19 and not ancient ones like leprosy. Now, now, for those who do not know, leprosy is a tired, retired disease, long killed to death by Ahmed Lawa. Thank God, these men of God are not God. Wow, Sasha, tweet that out. Thank God that they do not have anything close to the power of God. If they ever get it, we are finished. <laughs> anyway, a small part of me still wonders if Bishop Oedebo is right that God will use all diseases to punish us. If he is, the implications are a lot. For example, these are the pictures of the people who have so far declared their interest in running for president of Nigeria come 2023. Look at them. Look at them very well. If God wants to punish Nigerians, as so it was said, with an old disease, which of these <laughs> candidates will God likely use to punish Nigerians? Which one? Which one looks like an old disease <laughs> you can use to punish people? I guess I'm asking, what is punishment? Is it going from Buhari to this man? Or is it going from Buhari to this man? What is punishment? Is it going from Buhari to this man? Or is it going from Buhari to this man? What is punishment? Is it going from Buhari to this woman? Or is it going from Buhari to this man? I'm asking you, what is punishment? Is it going from Buhari to this man? Or is it going from Buhari to this man? <laughs> On our show today, Nam De Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra scored a win against Nigeria in a high court in Abia State. The court ruled that the military attack on his father's compound that made him take off from Nigeria was illegal. It also asked Nigerian military to pay him one billion naira. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> Meanwhile, in a court in uh, Abuja, the Nigerian government added new charges, making it a total of 15 charges against Namdekano. As always, the trial was again moved to February 16th. Now, in damage control, we will tell you how much of your money that they smuggled into the new Nigerian budget, just signed by President Muhammadu Buhari. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Billions. In the meantime, Mommy G.O. has traveled to Dubai. Yes! Did you hear? Did you hear about that? She has gone to heaven while you are still in hell compl complaining. <laughs> when we come back, we will give you a view from Mama G.O.'s window in heaven. Talking about heaven, here is a little clip from the birthday bash that Nigeria Senate President, uh, uh, Mr. Lawan, the man who killed Nigeria today, had in Abuja the other day. Oh, yes. And they said, 
Nick, the country is broke. Take a look. <laughs> A beggy, a beggy. So, Nigerian farmers produced over 1.2 million bags of rice. Clap for them. It's not easy. As a show of that great achievement, Nigeria stacked them together somewhere in Abuja to show it off. Who will blame them? Who will blame them? Look at Auntie showing off the whole thing. This is wonderful. I have been hearing about it over the last few weeks. And then today, I'm so delighted to be here. Look at this. Yes. Now, the part that I did not like was these people dragging our tired and retiring and checked out president. To, to go to the venue for the opening ceremony. Come on. Yes. It is called the largest rice pyramid in Africa. All of Africa. 1.2 million bucks. Clap for the agriculture president. You see, see, the man should have just been made a minister for agriculture. You know, have him travel around opening rice pyramids and cow houses. Is that what they call where her cows live? <laughs> I went to Google to check out the top rice producing countries in the world. I was surprised that I did not see Nigeria's name on the list. Vietnam was there, Burma, the Philippines, Bangladesh, they were all there on the list. According to the 2019-2020 figures, Vietnam produced 27.1 million metric tons of rice. Burma, small Burma, 12.7 million metric tons of rice. Philippines, 11.93 million metric tons. These are countries that Nigeria should do better than. Countries like China produce 146.73 million metric tons. While India produce 118.87 million metric tons. If they try to build pyramid, it will be everywhere. Now, instead of <laughs> Nigeria to keep working hard, we are satisfied stacking it up, announcing that nobody in Africa <laughs> had the kind of pyramid, rice pyramid that we have. It what? Nobody in Africa has the kind of population that we have. Yeah, anyway, what, what, <laughs> what do you expect from an analog president with analog thinking? Nigeria recently overtook Egypt to become Africa's number one rice producer. We produce 8 million metric tons of rice. Out of the 14.6 met million metric tons produced all in all of Africa. Which means, which means that we don't even have a competitor in Africa. So why are we bragging? Why are we bragging? Why? Shame, shame, shame. Ordinary Vietnam produces more rice than all of Africa. <laughs> Yet, the giant of Africa is celebrating rice pyramid. Like as if we went to space. Just so you know, nobody stores rice anymore in this kind of a cake pyramid. <laughs> nobody does that. And I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. I guess if you are president, is still sniffing around looking for, looking for grazing roots. Chances are that he's also dreaming of rice pyramids. Now, don't get me started about trailers pulling up and men carrying bags of rice to dump on the floor, one after the other. You know, this is the 21st century. No wonder we have problems getting items uh, out of our wharf. You know, who knows? Maybe we use men to offload containers. Nonsense. 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 <laughs> Welcome to Damage Control, where we illustrate the real cost of corruption so that we all can understand it better and buy into the need to go beyond being outraged to become part of the agents for change. Damage Control is brought to you by Makato Foundation and CITAD. I am Dr. Damages.
Corruption is not just about giving or taking money. Corruption is about not doing the right thing. And why are we corrupt? Because of lack of understanding. Because we do not understand that we don't need too much. So, while you were sleeping, the National Assembly passed the 2022 budget. Yes! And our president, the incorruptible Mohamed Buhari, signed it. <laughs> now, to his credit, he complained about it after he signed. Yes, he signed and then he complained. It is like a rotten food brought to a father. He could see that it was rotten, but he accepted it. And he was willing to give it to his children. What kind of father does that? Budget it. <laughs> They've been going through the budget to help us understand the abracadabra that they have pulled again. Yes, every year they do this. And so far, what they are seeing is shocking. Yes, the National Assembly padded the budget, which is normal. But this one, they duplicated <laughs> with over 378 billion naira. Yes. Now, now these are not additional programs that they sneaked in. No, 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 no. Those ones are there at night. No, those ones are there. These are duplicates. There are 460 of such, costing 378 billion naira. Duplicates. You know, you know the way you need a pair of shoes for Christmas and you write it down on the list that you are going to give your dad. I want shoe. In this case, the National Assembly added another pair, another pair, another pair, <laughs> until they did it 460 times. Of course, of course, they <laughs> do not plan to buy a second pair of shoe. And they don't need it. Their goal is to pocket the 378 billion naira. Do you know what that money will do for Nigeria? Let me give you an example. There are 1.8 million university students in Nigeria. 1.8 million. If you share 378 billion among the Nigerian students in the university, they will each get 200,000 naira. Think about it. 200,000 naira. The National Assembly, <laughs> the lawmakers there, they want to steal 200,000 naira that could go to every Nigerian student. You, as a student, yes, they're stealing your money. This is besides their salaries and their allowances that we all know is more than what the U.S. president makes every year. This is beside their kickbacks, the ones they get for passing bills. We know. They think we don't know. We know. This is besides the constituency money that most of them pocket. Now, to make matters worse, <laughs> the money that they are going to steal is borrowed money. We don't have it. <laughs> it is borrowed money that they are going to steal. Kafune fune diotua. Fune fune. I got the idea. Think about it. Who will pay for it? You. You. So, some of you remember Olivia Cotts that I mentioned earlier in the year. So, so those who bought estates with them. Then, I've already seen an appreciation of over 30%. Yes, 30%. And, and they're getting the units delivered this Friday. <laughs> remember, remember, the estate is located by Lekki Phase 1. Take a look. Yes, it is by Admiralty Way and Ikoi Link Bridge. See, see Palms Shopping Center. Still, you will be getting the homes at very reasonable, affordable prices. Look at the prices. At Olivia Estate, you are in the middle of all the activities. You don't have to drive for three hours to see your family, your friends, and other real people. You know, real people where they do me not show the and they you know, first time and all that you know. At Olivia Estate, they have some fully furnished studios with TV, bed, furniture, fridge. It's the same. You can use the studios as short stay apartments when you are not around. They will manage this for you. They also have one and two bedroom duplex apartments. Look at the video. Watch. Yes, the houses are going so fast. Last time 
we showed you the construction as it was going on. It is now completed. Phase one is fully sold out. And now it's time to key in into phase two. More importantly, Niger people finally realize that some of us in Obudoibo cannot pay $100,000 or 50 million naira in one year. We can't. That is why Terra developers will let you pay for over five years. Yes, I said it. Five years. Only put down 20% and you pay the rest to their US account monthly. Easy. Call them and ask them for details. Don't miss this opportunity. Also, also, for those who buy, you get to stay in any of their chocolates for free for one week of every year. Why your own unit is under construction? Isn't that amazing? They will even arrange protocol to pick you up at the airport for free. Hey. Now, give them a call. Grab yours before Christmas. I don't think by Christmas it's over. If you tell them that you are coming from Dr. Damages, you will get an additional 5% discount. Even things I do for you. You know, you watch me, you gain something. 5%! Come on! Let me know how it goes. So, Mommy Gio went to Dubai. Yes, finally. Watch. Wow. Can you see somebody here? <laughs> this is my window fusing at the backyard. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So nice to see. You know, when she comes back to Nigeria, I can tell you, I can tell you what she will say. I have been to heaven and I'm back. <laughs> Before now, she's been visiting hell and warning people about hell. Watch. H, well, by the time you remove O from L, -O, what do you remain? L. L. So I just greet you in the morning or you call me. I just mention hell. L. It's a language of hell, slanger of hell. <laughs> I know, I know Mommy Gio is that entertaining. And, 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 and it has taken her to Dubai. Look at me. I'm still stuck here. This concrete jungle. Now, to many social media users, you know, she is Mama G.O. But her real name is Evangelist Olufumi Layo Adebayo. Yes, thanks to this woman, Nigerians have been entertained by her weekly performances. Now, in her defense, Mommy G.O. said that she was a former agent of darkness. Why are you laughing now? Why are you laughing? She spent 990 years in the kingdom of darkness. <laughs> Listen to her. On social media is on YouTube. When you go 990 years in the kingdom of darkness. She believes that she is best suited to advise people on the pros and cons of heaven and hell. <laughs> now, to be clear, Mommy G.O. reveals the mandate she got for the ministry almost 27 years ago. Where have we been? And this church, what God gave me to the preach to people, be say, make them focus heaven. Things they go do, we no go let them make heaven. We go send them to hell. And things we then go do, we go make them go heaven. We they no go go hell. That is my message. So, so. Who put out the videos and memes on social media? Mommy Gio, can you tell us? They are just, you know, most of the videos are edited and then all those memes, they are... <laughs> what of football players, ma? Are they really going to, going to go to hell? They just want to arouse everybody that loves soccer against me because of events that is about to come very soon that will introduce the antichrist into the old world it will come through world cup that's all now now uh, and this uh detractors you know what what do they want from you in some strange cause evangelist for me you are affecting us many of our member here your message they pull out from our church now but, but mommy <laughs> are your teachings are, you, are they in the bible are they are they scriptural then they scriptural Many of it are in the Bible. <laughs> now, Mommy, Mommy Gio insists that she is being, you know, abused by detractors who edit her videos. 
and use her pictures to make fun of her. You know? Doing sort of things in the church, attacking church, molesting the work of God, molesting many pastors. And when God called me out, many people preached to me. Now, now, after watching her video on her official YouTube channel, she has an official channel. Go there. She says that people who go there to watch, they come back to ask her for forgiveness. When, when, am, I, when am I going to do that? <laughs> and, and don't worry, don't worry. As long as you do not have a church, you are not an enemy. I have no reason. They don't have church. Why should they be my enemy? <laughs> so, so, to all makeup wearers, you know, skimpy clothes wearers, football players, and fans, see you in hell. <laughs> now, for MasterCard users, you all are safe. Mommy G.O. uses one too, so nothing will happen to you. <laughs> Master's degree holders, you are safe too. The same with women, blessed with ample front and behind. That's, that's what she said. Listen to her. That they say, I say if person use MasterCard, you go, go to hellfire, you meet you at the use MasterCard. University, if you get, collect Master, you are going to hell. Now, like, sitting they say, I say if woman get boots, if you get bottom, you go go hellfire, and I lie, not me talk calm. But if you're watching this now, without investigating. Better go and ask for forgiveness or see you in hell. Ha! Ah, Africans, who did this to us? Who did this to us? Are you seeking immigration legal assistance in the United States? Contact U.S. Immigration Advocate. We are a full-service firm dedicated to assisting clients with their immigration needs. We work with clients in exploring options including permanent residency, naturalization, and other forms of immigration relief to remain in the United States. Should you have any questions about your immigration needs, contact us at 844-419-4900 or email us at inquiry at usimmigrationadvocate.com. This is a segment we call Preventative Medicine. It's brought to you by the Open Society Initiative for West Africa, OSIWA. Now, now, this is the second part of our crack reporter's visit to Adamawa State. What do they know about coronavirus at the home state of American University, Yola? Watch. No, about I, don't about COVID -19. I don't know anything about it. Though. But you believe in COVID-19, do you? I don't believe it. Why? I'm no Why you no believe say COVID nineteen day? Uh, COVID nineteen then I will not say day. Okay, so you know day. You know day. That you know then they call COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen. Eh. Uh, hey, I had it. Okay, you had it, but you don't know about it. Yes, sir. Because since you are there, Corona. Because since you on COVID nineteen, but Corona they anti na kama muta ni. Because since kaya da koi ni kubabu. Ah da koi. Kataba da koi. Kataba ganu muti ni deke dishi. Now, now, we asked them if they would take COVID-19 vaccine, if it were made available to them. Take a look at some of the amazing answers that we got. Go take the vaccine. Why you no go take the vaccine? I'm healthy. You are healthy? Yes. So just because you are healthy, you no believe say COVID-19? No, 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 If, if the coin they give people now the injection, the, the vaccine, you go agree take them? I will agree. You will agree to take the vaccine. Yes, sir. But you don't know the medicine, you don't know the sickness, but you go take the vaccine. Yeah, I know the medicine. You know the medicine, so you go take the vaccine. Coronavirus is very stubborn. Wear your mask, wash your hands, follow medical guidelines. Only those who survived the pandemic live to tell the story. This is an example of how they fool us all using one abracadabra after another. Last year, Nigeria's Minister for Finance, what's her name, what, what is her name? Anyway, she came out and announced that oil subsidy must go. Watch. The Petroleum Industry Act has a provision that all petroleum products must be deregulated. <laughs> she said she was aware. <laughs> that it will cause um, hardship in the country. So she offered to pay the poorest Nigerians 5,000 Naira each. Wow! Now, now, immediately, labor leaders, 
they cried foul. <laughs> they said that it will impact everyone and not just the poorest. And then they threatened to go on strike as early as January this year. We're in January, oh. Aha. <laughs> now, as we enter the middle of January, the labor leaders changed their tune, of course, <laughs> having been seen behind the scene by the government. They made a new statement. <laughs> They said now that you know, they want to give the government conditions under which the labor will agree to the removal of oil subsidy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I broke it up, bro. Please, please, don't bother to know uh, what the conditions are. It is part of the continuation of Abracadabra. Now, <laughs> as if on cue, the Economic Council, led by Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, has recommended that the oil subsidies should be removed and that fuel should cost uh, 304 naira a liter. Look at the headline. Hi. Then came the man who killed Nigeria to death. Yes. After having a huge birthday party in Abuja, he went to visit the president. Yes. He said during the holidays that he went home and his people told him that they were concerned about this Removal of oil subsidy. Uh, yeah. Here is what he said after meeting with President Mohamed Buhari. Watch. And I'm happy uh, to inform Nigerians uh, that Mr. President never told anyone that the petroleum subsidy should be removed. <laughs> now, here's my question for Mr. Lawan, you know, the man who dedicated his life to finally killing Nigeria today. Which president told you? that he never directed anyone to remove the subsidy. Which one? Is it this one? 2023 elections. Mm -hmm. 2023 elections. What comes to your mind? Is that my problem? <laughs> or is it this one? What can you do to make Nigeria a more competitive and more attractive destination for foreign direct investment? Well, this uh, question was answered when there was this answer. <laughs> <laughs> is he the one that said there was no subsidy to begin with? If anybody said he is subsidizing anything, he is a fraud. So what these people talking about subsidy? Who is subsidizing him? <laughs> look at, look at, remember? Nonsense. Here are some stories making headline news across African newspapers this week. As always, headline news is brought to you by Help Me Waka. Help Me Waka, the people who run errands for you in Nigeria and in Ghana. You stupid images. I hereby sentence you. No, 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 my patients will die. <laughs> who will take care of my patients? You stupid images. I hereby sentence you to 12 months in prison with hard labor for neglecting your family and especially your father who, who did every, every, everything to, to, to get you where you are today. No, 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 no. Daddy, wake up. What's wrong? I had a terrible nightmare. A judge sentenced me to prison for neglecting grandpa. Did you not give him your Easter food items? I'm a busy doctor. In that case, nto. Uh if I catch you, eh? Daddy, it's very easy. Go to helpmewaka.com. Choose any food item anywhere in Nigeria or Ghana. Gary, chicken, rice, yam, anything you want. I will do just that. You better, because next time it'll be your village people that come for you. I, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. See, si. Nego do. Uh, yeah. Look at our first story. Hmm. In a rare medical fit, 57-year-old man in the US here, gets pig heart. No way. Pig's heart in world first transplant. Can you believe this? They transplanted the heart of a pig into a man here in America. So, so I have a question. <laughs> Will this guy get a visa to Saudi Arabia now that a part of him is a pig? You know, he, he should be haram, shouldn't he? <laughs> I cannot wait for for how the world will look like 100 years from now when men and women will be walking around with eagle eye, elephant leg, <laughs> lion's teeth. <laughs> You'll be wonderful. Think about it. Eagle, pig's heart. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, next. 
Oh, this is, I can't believe this. Buhari is a mistake. <laughs> Northerners can vote someone like him again in 2023, says Northern Elders. Come on. Eh? This elder self. Eh? What are the chances that there will be another person like Buhari ever? Zero. Someone without verifiable certificates? Someone already visiting a hospital in London to, for treatment? Nah. Impossible. Impossible. That cannot happen. <laughs> Next. <laughs> no. I want to build on Buhari's regime's legacy, says Bola Tinubu. Bola Tinubu is running for praise for those who do not know. He says he wants to build on Buhari's legacy. Is it that Bola Tinubu has, um, is suffering from ear infection? <laughs> or, or, or has he a problem with comprehension? I'm just asking. What part of Buhari's uh, legacy does he think that Nigerians are looking for someone to build on? Which part? <laughs> this is why it's good to make sure you are not deaf and you are not dumb. You know, you know where people are. You don't open your mouth and just say anything. <laughs> Next. Oh, oh. This is, this is unbelievable. 2023, Ohaneze shortlist Amechi pledges 10 billion for Igbo presidency. 10 billion. Didn't I hear that uh, Bola Tinubu is bringing out 400 billion? <laughs> anyway, finally, we now know who Buhari's secret candidate is. It is Rotimi Amechi. And I think he may actually work out, you know? He may be the excellent candidate. He has Igbo name and Yoruba names together. And depending on the day of the week, he may either be Igbo or Yoruba. Which I, I thought they said the push power is coming to the south. So Amechi represents the south. <laughs> Amechi. Yeah, can he stop talking? We, we may, I may like him. <laughs> I may like that president because he will talk. <laughs> Next, final one, final one. Oh, unbelievable. Central Bank of Nigeria will spend $8, $8 billion this year to defend the Naira. $8 billion. Now, this is my question. When did Naira become so troublesome that we need to spend such amount of money to defend it? Now, what, what world record did Naira break for which we must pay? Can, can someone help me out? You know? Are there no cheaper lawyers we can get to help <laughs> defend Naira? I know, why do we have to pay this big amount of money to, <laughs> to defend Naira? <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's all the time we have. Please keep, um, keep following us on Twitter at... And on Facebook at... at on, oh, no, 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 on Instagram at... You can also support us on Patreon at Patreon's dot com slash doctor damages any amount you can give this is the new year help us out so that we can keep producing this show and 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 making you happy you know here's my concern for today it's taken from page 419 of the book i have a dream by martin luther king jr and it says our life begins to end the day we become silent about things that matter until next week i'm dr damages i diagnose you Thank you, thank you. It's a new year and we are promising you new things. New things. And we thank you for watching. We thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you.